So, being anti-racist, that's being against racism, right? Well, not in the movement of critical social justice, it's not. So my name is James Lindsay. I run a website called New Discourses, and on New Discourses I'm writing an encyclopedia of social justice terminology to tell you why they misuse these words so that they can manipulate you. It's called Translations from the Wokish. So let's break down anti-racism. It's obvious that the idea of anti-racism is being against racism, that's how they get you. But the concept is more specific for them. In fact, it's described explicitly in the critical race theory literature, anti-racism is as a lifelong commitment to an ongoing process of self-reflection, self-critique, and social activism. And no one is ever done. That's probably a little bit more than you thought you were signing up for when you said, well, I'll be an anti-racist. You know, I wanna be against racism. Specifically, you can't just do any kind of self-reflection or self-critique in this lifelong ongoing process. You can't do any kind of social activism. You have to actually become a critical race theorist. You're either a critical race theorist, thus anti-racist, or you're a racist. There is no neutral. That's something else they say about this. So in other words, you have to sign up for a lifelong commitment to being a critical race theorist and to doing the work, what they call critical race praxis, of waking up other people to a so-called racial consciousness so that they'll be critical race theorists too. That's what you have to do for the rest of your life to qualify as an anti-racist under the social justice ideology. If you wanna learn more about critical social justice and how it uses terms to manipulate people, visit newdiscourses.com and check out the social justice encyclopedia called Translations from the Wokish.